What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be watching a video entitled from 90 Day Fiance, of course. You told him? Kobe revealed that Emily is pregnant, 90 Day Fiance. Let's go. So, it's where the magic happens. Oh boy. I said, oh, it's a nice place. Um, you like it? Do you like the house? I like it. I don't remember this. I did see the last episode, but I don't. But I'm just. Well, Let's see. That, um, my phone will like um, get his document first, and then so that you both can have your own home. Mhm. Mm it's not easy. To, like um, live where you don't have people to like um. I'm having trouble understanding what this guy is saying. My phone Temperature. Will like well like get this get his document like fast and then, document fast and then so, that you, so that you both can have your own home. Can have your own home. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I'm a little lost here. It's not easy to like um, live where you don't have people to like um, communicate or like um, hang around with. Oh, man. I, I'm having trouble. trouble. So, uh, I think relocating to Columbus. I think relocating to Columbus. Oh, yeah. Temperature ha had been talking to Kobe about relocating to Columbus because he's saying there's like a support group over there, you know, that maybe Kobe would feel more at home because there are more people from where they're from. So, we are talking about millions. But it's crazy because, um, <laughs> I mean, you know, Emily, like they live not there and he also is Emily's partner, you know? So I don't know. I think temperature just making everything seem like, oh, it's just so fine and dandy and easy. Let's just come to Columbus, you know? And it's not quite like that, obviously, but we'll see because from what I can tell, Kobe kind of agrees with a lot of what his friend says. So I, I don't know how this is going to work. Cameroonians, Africans. Cameroonians. Columbus. We're not moving to Columbus. Yeah. <laughs> See? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't think temperature understands. Columbus would be a good place. I am totally taken aback. Yeah, as you should be, right? Like, he's stepping out of line. He's not in this relationship. Yeah, he's not in the relationship. You get, he barely even knows... Emily, yeah, it's crazy. He's not marrying the guy. He doesn't have a kid on the way. Yeah, that too. I totally forgot. They have a kid on the way. Can you imagine? He know. doesn't need to sit here. I don't, know, I don't know. And it's a bummer that Emily even has to take any of this serious because, I mean, I don't know if she actually does take every, any of these suggestions seriously, but I know she maybe feels a little bit more compelled than if it was just some random dude off the street just because it's Kobe's friend, right? So now they're somewhat linked you know and she can't just blow him off like yeah pff, whatever like like if, if, as if it were some dude on the street you know what i'm saying it's just i don't know i just feel like they don't understand like uh, temperature thinks it's just so easy to just oh let's just why don't you just move over to columbus so that kobe can be a little bit more comfortable Sensen, to my even though your living situation is not what you want it to be you have a kid on the way you also have kids and i don't think kobe can work right now yeah and say about moving to ohio and being pretty intense about it. We have a lot going on right now. So we need to just stay close to family until. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a nice way of even putting it, to be honest. Like, she's obviously trying to seem like she even considered it for oh, a yes. second. It's like I'm just I'm making decisions. Have you discussed that with Kobe already? Dang, he's like trying to really act like he's a, he's a, I would say a mediator, but not even. He's like a Kobe's representative or lawyer or something. It's like, I don't know if she actually is. Look at her face. Emily should, if she's not, be super annoyed. Well, she can feel how she wants to be feel, but like I can totally see if she were super annoyed because it's like Kobe talks to temperature, temperature interprets his own things or whatever, and then brings them up to her for Kobe, you know? So I'm pretty sure Emily might feel kind of like, who am I in a relationship with again? Why do I have, you know what I mean? That just seems like it would be annoying. That's all I'm saying. Oh, you're yeah, just telling Kobe what you're going to do. That does not sound right. And the thing is, Kobe, he's, I think he's in agreement with temperature and he doesn't see anything odd with this at all, with temperature being the one bringing stuff up. Before coming to America, I didn't really think I was gonna miss, you know, like my community, my circle, you know. But yeah, temperature course. said a lot of things that made me to think a lot. That could, you know, possibly change our future together, me and Emily. 
Oh, the whole stuff about like American women. Is that what he's referring to? He's talking about like how American women are decision makers and, you know, they're not by default going to have the final, this not going to have the final decision because they are not men. There was an earlier in the episode or a different time where Kobe was trying to let Emily know that like, hey, you married an African man, which means he is going to have the final say in every decision. He didn't say every, but it was implied. We need to talk about that again, babe. What do you think? Yeah, see, like, it's just weird. Right now, you're making decisions like telling what you want us to do. I'm just saying, hypothetically, we'll probably stay here for two years. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did we discuss about that? Oh, man. It's like, even the way he's talking, it kind of feels like he had a game planned with temperature and was like, look, these are the bang, bang, bang. Propose it. Oh, did we even discuss about that? I mean, not to say that his feelings and his wants shouldn't be considered because they definitely they should. Right. Because he is with in a relationship with Emily and they have kids together and they have one on the way. But um, it's not that easy to just go get up and move. And I don't think temperature is making anything easier for their relationship. OK, so what do you want to get here your we green go. Card? Emily seems to go a little bit like, okay, you know what? I'm going to stop this little facade here of okay, being super so wait, nice. Do you want to get your green card and your work permit and then just move to Columbus? Is that what you want? Did I say Is that? that? What you want? Did I say that? But I'm asking you. Uh-oh. <sighs> Man, I'm just so tired of fighting all the time. Remember I and shout out to Emily for like not <laughs> totally like, I don't know addressing like can can temperature get out of here because i like wh what's going on why is temperature uh given relation like giving his own opinions on a relationship remember you're starting a new life now right uh oh starting a new life now right again here we go he's like trying to explain to emily like this is how it's going to be and this is how it should be this is how you should live your life uh -huh. you're building a new family without those two kids you need to be in a new environment okay wait stop you told him Oh, snap. So this is when she found out that Kobe told her friend? Oh, no. This has got to be a slap in the face to, to Emily. Uh, not necessarily because, I, I mean, is that a big deal for temperature to know? Maybe not. But what is a bigger deal is that, like, like I said, just the accumulation of, like, uh, just everything put together, like, Seems, it seems like Kobe is talking to Temperature and Temperature is bringing up these issues to Emily and talking about how they should go to Columbus and ba da 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 And then all of a sudden, Temperature is talking about like, oh, you guys are bringing a new baby into this world when supposedly Kobe wasn't supposed to say anything to anybody. So I think he's just breaking her trust here. And at the dinner table, right, Kobe brought up, I mean, Temperature brought up that Kobe is like a prince or whatever. He's from royalty. And Emily didn't know that, so I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't be feeling too good right now if I was Emily. Why would you do that? Yeah, exactly. What do you mean by why would I tell him? Like, he's my friend. Because you weren't supposed to tell anybody. Why are you beep if you want to beep? <laughs> yeah. He's not. And Kobe seems happy about that. Like, that's not cool. He's anybody, okay? He's my friend. I told you about him, so. <sighs> Kobe, you weren't supposed to tell anyone. What? That's so messed up. Kobe, what? It's okay. Kobe? I mean, so. <sighs> Kobe, you weren't supposed to tell anyone. Oh, you weren't supposed to tell anyone. That's so messed up. It's okay. Kobe? I mean. <sighs> so. <laughs> that's that. That was actually a lot more juicy than I thought. I thought it was going to be like a whatever clip, but that was pretty juicy. Anyway, uh, yeah. We are a few days out from the new episode, so, um. I'm sure there'll be more clips around then. If you like the video, don't forget to like it. If you want to see more, please subscribe to my channel. And I probably will react to other videos as well, not just any day fiance videos. Just because I kind of like hanging out with you guys and I want to do uh, something else here and there. But I definitely will for now still be covering 90 day fiance. Uh, so yeah, stick around if you want to stick around. I appreciate you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.